Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to add special characters uh, to things like documents and email. So of course you probably know we have the character map which has the same type of thing here. You just pick your font to go along with the specific characters that it comes with. Like so, pretty basic. So the app is called WinCompose, so there is a standalone version and an installer. So I just have the standalone version here, so that way I don't have to install anything. Uh, you just download the zip file and extract it, and then run the executable. Then you'll have it running down here, and if you right-click on it, you click on Show Sequences. That'll open up the main program, and you have all your categories here for Unicode characters. like so. You can have some music symbols, playing cards, then you also have some emojis too. And then user-defined macros. And then at the top you have some favorites, and then you could search as well. So let's say we're here and we search for arrow. And you have your results here for all the arrows. Okay, so if you wanted to use something, uh, you could just right click on it, copy the clipboard, then paste it into your document or wherever you're working. You could also use the code here. So this is U09CB. And then to get to insert mode, the default key is the right alt. All right, so I'm gonna do U09CB. And then enter. And then you can see it adds the character. So obviously having to type that could be a little tedious, but if it's something you use all the time, you know, you might get it down to where you could type it out real quick and you don't have to come back here and open the program. All right, let's see how the emojis work here. Let's copy this. Like so. And you can see some of them, like these emojis here, do not have the shortcut key. All right, then also if you go down here to the system tray and right click on it, you could click on the options. So have it run when you log in, uh, auto detect your language, run with elevated privileges, check for updates, try and keep the notification icon always visible if you want, or you could disable the icon. Then you could do some test typing here if you want. So here's the Compose key, which I said was right alt. So you have to press that first before you could type in the code, but you could change that. And then you could increase the timeout if you want. So after you press the right alt key, eventually it'll time out. So it's not always in insert mode. And then you have some other options here and then some tweaks. And then if you hover over each one, it tells you what it'll do if you enable it. Like so. All right, so as you can see, it's a nice alternative to the character map or something you could use in addition to it. You know, like if you want something with some color or maybe some of these items here are not included in the character map and it's nice to be able to search for them as well. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Win Compose and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.